Good morning, folks. We'll start with an update to the solar pole reversal, or lack thereof. The north is still not gone positive, and the flip is still incomplete. Typhoon Matmo has crossed Taiwan and is weakening as it enters China. The tropical depression in the Atlantic remains, heading right at the Caribbean, but without major development capability as of now. We're also watching two potential tropical systems in the eastern Pacific, heading west. We come to Europe and still see the North Atlantic low, but also just as easily the converging air masses to the east. The Atlantic low is keeping to the waters while the eastern storm actually covers about a quarter of the entire continent. Only one watch here. Remember that lows spin clockwise in the southern hemisphere, opposite the north, and this one is trekking across southern Australia now. Two watch zones in the United States and Canada. The first is due to the counterclockwise spinning low in eastern Canada, creating a convergence well to the south of it. You can also see heat and moisture funneling into the northwest and north central states. This is where we'll find the bad weather tonight, with both systems causing a need to observe north and south of the border. Big ups to Brody Love. I almost missed this solar tornado on the northwestern limb quite beautiful. It indeed faded after a backside eruption over this same limb, but was still worth a peek. Let's go to the sunspots where we will now also begin to monitor the southern incoming active regions as they have beta polarity confined to one side of the grouping. As it develops, our main focus is to the north of that. The big leaders appear mostly negative, but there is activity behind them and plenty of time for development. Until then, the solar snooze continues. The solar wind is quite calm with falling speed and temperature and pretty steady plasma density. The coronal holes appear to be quite relevant at the moment, but as you may have noticed the 24 hour lull to the quaking, we've seen almost every ounce of force diminish from these openings, especially from the equatorial zones. Nevertheless, negative influence has overtaken near Earth space after days of positivity. Smile. Jupiter coming in behind the sun now, visible on Lasco C2. Let's check out the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.